See what happens when the butterfly leaves out of the cocoon? I told all you people what would happen. Now this beautiful person was a nice, soft person. She wasn't angry. She wasn't mean. She wasn't mad at nobody. But see, you let a clown, a camera and a microphone loose, he gets his feelings hurt, and unlike any man that I know, he went bad on the wrong people. What happens when you have a plan to help somebody and it has to go through you? I think I spoke to London and Sci-Fly and we was having the same conversation on the phone about, say, over two months ago. And I said, instead of giving somebody $10 to buy a house, I think I said, why don't we get as many people together as we can on YouTube? and have one person send a dollar to one other person. And each month we change and give another person one dollar. Or a dollar a week. That's four dollars a month. We find one person to give a dollar to. As many people we can get together to give one dollar. And we rotate through the whole group. Every week another person, we, we find another person to send one dollar to. Ten dollars. Is a lot of money. Four dollars spread out through the course of a month can help a lot of people. If a lot of people help. When you put together a fundamental plan, why should somebody buy a house to put one family in? We can buy these broke down hotels on the side of the road, put people to work, and put people in them. See, the basic premise of helping somebody is for the other person to benefit from it. And you benefit by the person receiving. So, when the idiot put together his plan, send me $10 and I'll buy a house, he was gonna put somebody homeless in it. His goddamn self. I did a video about him and I did a video about somebody else. And I tried to do the video vanilla. Vanilla is a flavor that you know, people use as a base. You can put vanilla and make chocolate. You can put vanilla and make any other flavor by adding other flavor. So I think, I don't know, I forget. Let me get to my point. When you take a beautiful person and tweak on them, befriend them, and then fuck them over, they come out like this. She was nice and soft, and now she for real. For she's real before, but now she's for real. She ain't for fakes no more. I stopped watching a lot of people behind what they did to her. I stopped watching them. I literally cut. Fuck it. Till just recently, I started watching this one guy's videos again. But you don't. You don't pick on somebody who don't agree with you. I was going through my YouTube beef with a partner, and not one black person stood up to defend me. Not one person in our so-called circle that we all began in came to defend me. But people told me I was going off. I got caught up. And... I did a video introduction for my little sister there, and it's still sitting in my computer. I still haven't found a way to email it to her or send it to her on her new page, or on her other page. But see, when you let bullshit deter you from your mission and your goal, you think. You sit back and you you think, oh man, oh brothers and sisters don't like when dogs look them in the face. That's not. Nah. Yeah, I think it's time for you to sit down. Look at me all up. Now I gotta get some Perel on this motherfucker. So um you can't you can't go to somebody that's nice. That person, hey, you know, you're positive. Why don't you try this out? And you try it and you don't like it, or it don't like you, and then you go back on the person that asked you to try it. 
Um, a young man was having problems on the internet with some young lady. She did a video about him. You know, he did a bunch of video about her. Then he blocked her, and he was sending everybody that saw oh, people treat this girl is trying to shut me down. So I did the same thing. Sister Sci-Fi just did, and shot this man's information to somebody who can help him. This man listens, answering the man's questions, and then all of a sudden, out of blue, the person that's helping this guy, you know, he asked him one more question. Well, what did the, you know, what made her flip out? Then all of a sudden, the guy's like, oh, oh, I don't want to talk to you. You're one of them, and da da da. This was the person sent to help him. She put this man in a position to be around other positive people, and the first thing he did was get on a national radio show and ask for a donation. The first time I got on that show, I'm listening, and I'm listening, and people just talking and talking. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. And when I got my break, and somebody said something, well, we're going to teach the black kids a new education, someone said, What the hell are y'all going to teach these black kids? How to sell rocks and kill each other? And everybody on the radio said, Whoa! Then I got my opening. I said what I had to do. I shocked the people, said what I had to say, got to my point, and changed up. Because it wasn't about negativity, but that's what you brought to the table. Some old negative shit. Send me $10, y'all. Y'all niggas need to send me $10. I'm going to put a homeless family up. Motherfucker, I got a homeless family in my motherfucking backyard right now. And ain't nobody giving me shit for them. Because I'm trying to help somebody. Because one day I'm going to need some help. So when you say you want to help somebody and you want to come off positive and you don't get your way and you've shown your true colors and you've shown this is who I am. I'm the most positive black guy on earth. Give me $10. There used to be a reference when I was growing up. Motherfucking hair was all slick back looking all cool and shit. I'm revving something. And my grandmama and them used to brush and say, they wasn't looking at that man as in some savior. He was a sexual icon. He was a good looking brother. Had the soup song. They was paying the pimp. He pimped him out of that money. That's why you don't see him doing that shit on TV like they used to. Now they got the mega church. You know, this ain't church. But we're going to pray for you, soul and black. We're going to pray that one day that you will understand the significance of friends. Friendship. A whole bunch of things have been said bad about me. This family I work for, I love them like family. They have turned on me now. But what am I going to do? What did I do? To, to make these people so mad. What did I do? What what cost me that? I will tell you what cost me. The black man's inability to just let shit go. See, for a couple of days, I've been called in on my off days to help out. People snickering and pointing fingers. A friend of mine said, hey man, if you go back over there, don't say nothing. She said, you said this. She said, I went off. Told the lady off. When I walked away, the little old white lady was crying. 62-year-old white woman crying. Broke down. I could have turned my nose up and walked away. I could have just turned my back on the whole situation and said, fuck it, and did my job and kept going. But no. That pride of being stepped on, sometimes get your ass put out. Fucked over, fucked off. You lose your shit talking shit when you can't speak. When you, I could have just walked away from the situation, but I had to show that I was a man and I was in control of my situation. Don't say nothing negative about me without me coming to you. And I went to it. I told that lady off, broke her ass down, and walked away. Why? When I should have been the bigger person. You, man called you an idiot. You were supposed to break him down. But she ain't got to make another video response about you. Because you've been tubed. And I got her back.